Hello, my friends. I see you there all chatting without me <laughs> and have been for quite a while. Goodness me, Jenny, you've been here since 7.04. You said hello. <laughs> so sorry to keep you all waiting. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Cherie, hello. Uh, Cherie, I was hoping to go, um, I was hoping to do the bleaching tonight and I, I was, I swear we had bleach in the laundry and I went to grab it tonight and went, we don't have any. <laughs> so next video. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't think she sits on my channel all day. <laughs> ah. Just reading through some comments. Hey Donna, nice to see you. Hey Jean, nice to see you too. Yeah, I, I think the weather globally doesn't know what it's doing at the moment, Jean. You said spring is having trouble getting sprung in Oregon. Um, yeah, I we seem to have skipped summer almost completely this year. We didn't really have any hot weather that we're used to at all. Hey Fran, nice to see you. Hey Glenda. Hey Deb, nice to see you. All right, so my question for all of you lovely ladies out there is, those of you who are on my mailing list, are you getting your catalogs? I It's always a mystery to me when the catalogs are going to get to you because um, I actually organise, I tick all the names of people who are going to receive them. This is the big catalogs. The little catalogs, I send them out myself. But the big ones, it's a lot cheaper for me to get them sent by Stampin' Up. So I actually had to have all the names of people who should receive them in by the 31st of March. Um, and so then I don't know when they get sent. They're sent by a mailing house that Stampin' Up uses. And I don't know. So it's a, always like a, a mystery and I never know how long it's going to be. And I get very excited when people tell me that they're receiving them. It's like, yay, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> That's so cool. So people have got their catalogs, I think. And if you haven't, if you haven't got a demonstrator and you're in Australia and you would like a catalog, please send me a message and I will make sure you get one. Okay, we'll pop one in the post to you. That's not a problem at all. Then the catalog is, the new catalog is beautiful. Um, for those of you who have it already, you can chime in and tell everyone that that's true. I'm not not messing around. That is the truth. It's gorgeous. So lots of really good fun stuff. In there to play with. <laughs> I know I want to Cherie and that's what I thought oh that'd be a good thing to talk about tonight actually because I do need to talk about the in colors but we'll just have to do some other fun stuff with the in colors instead. Ah uh, yes well my cats haven't been fed yet but it's not quite time for them. Um, mind you one of my cats thinks it's time all the time and the other one isn't he doesn't care he's happy to be fed whenever doesn't matter <laughs> they're so funny crumpet is locked out of this room actually i have um my dad i'm not going to go as long tonight because my dad and his um his wife my stepmom are here and um and we haven't had dinner yet because they only just arrived so probably a fairly short one from me because um i did have, she brought some macadamias and i've had some of those so i'm not starving but i haven't had dinner so hey Kay, nice to see you Hey, Denise, you're still away, aren't you? Are you still away, Denise, or are you back? Oh, you got yours, Margaret. That's good to hear. Oh, it's hot and sunny. Hey, Cindy, nice to see you there. I have a couple of friends in Arizona, actually, so I'm um, in Phoenix. So, yeah, somewhere I've not been. I've never been to Phoenix. I have been briefly over the border into Arizona because we went um, from St. George in southern U Utah over to Kanab, which is the Stampin' Up! manufacturing plant some years ago. And briefly, the road, the highway takes you over into the Arizona, over the Arizona side of the border. So um, that's as much as Arizona as I have seen. Hey, Sol Vega, you got your catalogue yesterday. Hello. Um, you're, you're so welcome. I'm so glad. So basically, if people have ordered with me, especially ordered online, but if they have ordered with me in the last 12 months, I try and get a catalogue out to them. Um, and if I've missed anybody, I humbly apologise and let me know so I can correct it. Hey, Mandy, nice to see you. Oh, I don't think I don't remember you being on one of my lives before. 
welcome nice to see you here and i saw um a couple of people saying hi to ellen jenny said hello to ellen that's nice thank you guys hey amanda nice to see you ah very good it's exciting isn't it waiting for the third of may is the day that we can order mind you demonstrators can order now okay so there's a um for the pre-order stuff not absolutely everything but there's a lot of pre-order stuff and i'm going to show you a little bit of new stuff tonight so that'll be fun <laughs> your customers are getting theirs that's good ellen i'm sorry i missed your call earlier and um and then i didn't have time to ring you back before i had to go live so we'll catch up later Hope that's all right hey denise how are you going the other denise <laughs> We have two Denises. Yeah, I thought you were still away. So this is Denise McCabe I'm talking to, and then I just had to sell it. hello to Denise Calloway. So, yes, both of you, hello. Hey, Megan, nice to see you. Hi, Anita. All right, I think I'm all caught up. Let's get going. Like I said, I'm probably going to be a little bit quick tonight. I thought I'd do a card with something that's retiring, so something old and something new. We're going to do something with some brand-new stuff. And we're going to do something with something that's going. So let's switch over to the other camera. And, oh, okay, sorry. My timing was bad, Ellen. <laughs> hey, Michelle, nice to see you. All right, so this is the catalogue that's going, the annual catalogue, as it says here, till April 2022, okay? It actually goes until the 2nd of May. So I think a lot of people think it's actually finished on the last day of April, which is tomorrow. But you can actually still get some stuff out of here until the 2nd of May. All right. So even though it says April on the front. Now, this is my retired one, which means I've actually gone through this one and highlighted everything that's actually retiring. So everything that's got a pink, a pink line on it is a retiring item. And one of the things that I really loved that we've had for a while now, a couple of years, is the Tasteful Touches stuff. And Ellen, I'm so sorry. I realized after I sat down and put this together for tonight... <laughs> that you did this one recently, but um, it's still available. I just went and checked before we went live. I better find it. Hang on a second. I need to use the index. It's under Tasteful Touches, and it's on page 111. Here we go. But my card will be totally different to yours, Ellen. So this is the one here. And as you can see, I've got a big pink line through it because it is retiring. Um, now this has matching dies, which are also retiring, and matching DSP, which has been around for a couple of years now, called In Good Taste. It's this stuff. Um, and I have loved using this. It's got all these beautiful, like, super realistic looking um, designs. Really great for guy cards, okay? I mean, I'm not doing a guy card tonight, but so good for guy cards. And, you know, got ones that look like concrete and tiles and stones and wood grain and there's fabrics fibers all sorts of things and they're kind of like 3d looking really really beautiful okay so <laughs> the borrowed in blue well you know what um i was working on something blue today and we are going to use a little bit of blue in the next card do i have anything i probably have something i've borrowed probably borrowed something off ellen <laughs> We, uh, we have a, um, a working relationship where we borrow stuff off each other from time to time and it's awesome. Actually, it's really nice because I've quite, got quite a few and Denise's around close as well. There's Courtney. There's a few people who are local to me and we quite often all borrow each other's stuff and it's really handy. I mean, not all of it is masculine. I mean, this is little pink kind of fabric stuff almost like a like a knit, isn't it? Um, that's probably not for a guy's card, but you know, it's very, it's really nice. I really like this. It's got so many good things in it. And I've got a couple of favorite wood grains. I think this is my favorite one. Love, love, love this one. It really looks very realistic. You could, I've, I'm sure I could use 12 by 12 sheets of this and use it as a backdrop for my cards if I wanted to photograph on them. No, I don't think I have anything at the moment either. I think we're, I think we're square. <laughs> I was going to borrow some thick white cardstock off you, but you didn't answer the phone that night, and I got it off Courtney instead. So I owe Courtney a pack of thick white card. So um, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see everybody here now. John Andrew? No, it's not John. It's his better half. So do you have a name? If it's not, we know it's not John, or we can just call you not John, if you like. 
<laughs> Hi, Diana from the US. Goodness me, what time is it where you are? And which, which side of the country are you on? Or are you in the middle? <laughs> See now, so Donna's asking for John's better half's name as well. I like not John. I think that's fun. <laughs> All right, so I am going to use this one because it's one of my favourites and this is probably the last time I'm going to use it because it's only available for a couple more days. Now, what I did want to tell you about this paper um, is that it is half price, okay? So um, the Tasteful Touches stuff, let me try. This is this um, list is done by page number. So Tasteful Touches is on the, the stamp set is on page 111 and it's 50% off. So instead of 40 Forty dollars. It's only twenty. Okay, so there's a lot of. If you guys haven't gone through and checked out all the really good bargains in the last chance list, now is a great time to do it. This stamp set is only going to be available for two more days, or three more days, and it is, um, it is half price. I mean, that's a good deal, right? And then we've also got over in the back here, we've got the matching dies, the tasteful labels dies. Let me find them very quickly. And they're marked down, but I think they're 20%. Yep, 20% off from 54 down to 43.20. So that's good too. And the In Good Taste paper is the matching paper for this stuff. Okay, so quickly look at that. In Good Taste, I think it's on this page. In Good Taste, 12 by 12. Now, it was $37 because this is a double pack. You get, instead of 12 sheets, you get 24. Is it 24? I think it's 24. I should be checking that. Those guys are my, oh, hey, Karen, nice to see you. Yeah, they're my, they're my go-to as well. I think they're fantastic. So um, they're, they're ones that I have really um, enjoyed using. And because of all those masculine designs, look, tiles on this side, hexagon tiles. In fact, this looks a lot like my, um, this is like our splashback in our kitchen looks a lot like it except they're a little bit more white less um, mottled or grayish color it's just more white but it looks otherwise almost identical that's the first thing I noticed when we moved in oh it's like that paper all right so let's cut this up and do some fun stuff with it so instead of $37 okay this is only $18.50 for a big big pack of paper and it's still there so grab it okay um also while you're there go and check out the um what do you call it the clearance rack and the reason I'm telling you about the clearance rack is because um, the clearance rack has is got some really cool stuff in it like the hope box and I've been a lot of my customers have been grabbing the hope box the hope box is gorgeous and it's only it was 37 like this was 37 it's $18.50 and I don't know how much longer it's going to be there I hope it's still there I didn't I haven't checked that one today but um, a lot of my customers have been grabbing that because it's been really, really cool. And it's such, such a nice thing. It's got stamps, it's got ink, it's got card bases, it's got envelopes, it's got all kinds of stuff in it, and it's only $18.50, and everyone's telling me how nice it is. All right, so I'm going to use this wood grain. Let's grab, I'm going to grab my seal. Now, for anyone who hasn't seen me use the seal before, okay, you stay low to the paper, and you get to the end and you lift, okay? And that way snaps it off nicely so you don't get those, like, stringy bits of spaghetti cheese, uh, what is it? Mozzarella cheese, and that gums your mechanism up. So low to, the, low to the page and then lift at the end. I love the grains in this. All right, let's pop this down. All right. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a couple of things. I've, I've got a couple of shapes that I cut out earlier, but neither of these are from the Tasteful Labels. Let's have a look at the Tasteful Labels. And as Karen said, they're her go-to, and I think she's completely right. That's been This is a set I'm actually going to miss. Um, I, don't have them on, I don't have them on magnets, so they're just all over the place in here. <laughs> but they're here. All right, so you've got some different labely kind of shapes and some nice edges because there's stitching on some there's like a little double edge on some there's like little scallops on these ones and there's different bits and pieces that match some of the stamps okay so it's a really cute little set and really really useful and put that one down there just so you can see them all got great little banner i love banners there we go. So we've got some we've got some nice options okay now obviously the bigger our shape the more of our paper we're going to hide but because I don't think that really matters I'm deciding whether I want to go I think I want to go this way 
I might even want to go slightly to one side and I think I do want to go with the biggest one what do you guys think yeah I think the biggest one then there's some nice I used this one the other day some of you saw me do the mirror image and this was the stamp I used for that as well that says the good things in life are better with you I really like it I thought this would be nice on a scrapbook page too that one I thought that would be nice like a picture of you know travel pictures you know for a couple or something like that that the good things in life are better with you I like it what do you guys think you'll never sell never sell them Karen we are I get it <laughs> I'm just going through all the comments and seeing if I've missed any. If I've missed any questions, my apologies. I hope I haven't. Um, I tend not to be. Oh, Chris. Okay, so not not John. It's Chris. We know what to call you now. That's good. <laughs> hey, Chris, as in Chris McCourt. We've got a couple of Chris's. We've got a couple of Denise's. We like to do things in twos around here. <laughs> So let me let me cut this out. Right, I'm going to bring in my. I'm thinking, will I use what color? Will I use? I was going to use um, just white, but I might have a piece of. Um, let me see if I have a piece of shimmery white handy because if I do, that would be that would be nice because it's a little off white. Also, vanilla would be good. See, this is this is a piece of um, shimmery wire. I've got a mark on it, but that goes really well. It's got a slight creaminess to it, which looks rather nice with this, where this is quite white. But it won't matter. I'm going to use it anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure this isn't too wide. Let me cut with my trimmer. I don't want it more than nine centimetres wide because it's, we're going to put it through the um, mini the mini cut and emboss machine and it needs to not be wider than nine centimeters or for anyone who's wondering it's about three and a half inches so let me put that on the disc I still prefer to use this one if I can when it, when I'm doing um, demos because it's much lighter to transport and it's much easier for me to have it on my desk than the big one so I'm just going to turn that over I'm going to pop that through and give it a wind. All right. Now, some of you may have seen, um, seen I said that the, we had a little announcement about the new ink colours. And if you haven't seen it already, some of you may have seen it. Um, Stampin' Up! are doing a joining special in May from the 3rd of May onwards and I'm going to take you through the new colours very shortly because they are really, really nice and the new colours are what they're going to be playing around with. Pull out some white and I'm thinking, I'm thinking what colour flower because I'm going to use this flower here. I'm just wondering what colour to do. I think maybe, hmm. I'm going to stamp it in early espresso and then colour it in pink. So maybe flirty flamingo. I haven't decided what colour pink to do, but we will work that out as we can. As usual, I'm making my card up pretty much. I kind of had, had a rough idea of what I wanted to do, but you know, you know how it is. That's how we roll. <laughs> pink? Yeah. I think pink is nice with this. The third, I know it's taking forever, isn't it, Donna? <laughs> the Budgie Bird stamp set. I know, isn't that cute? I don't have that. Um, I'm just thinking what colour will I use? I don't think I want to go super, super colour. I don't want to use, I don't want to go too colourful. And I don't actually have Flirty Flamingo in blends. So I'm thinking I could go Highland Heather or Fresh Freesia, one of these. Maybe Fresh Freesia would be nice. This is light and dark Fresh Freesia. Let's give those a whirl. So I'm going to use the dark ones kind of in the shadowy bits. And I'm going to just do a few petals at a time. Because it works best, your blends work best if you use them whilst they're wet for blending purposes. So we put the, I like to do 
put my dark down first and then let my light pen do all the work. I just think it looks better. And it's pretty quick going like this. This is a pretty, pretty easy stamped colour too. You know, you don't have to be too precious because there's a fair amount of shading in the stamp itself. So I see you all talking, starting to talk about what your favourite new things are. Does anyone have new favourites? I, I see the budgies have been mentioned by a couple of people. Aren't they cute? I love them too. All right. Sorry, it's making me go quiet. Everyone goes quiet when they colour, even me. So I do want to tell you about this joining special while I'm working, and that is if you are a customer and you're thinking of putting um, in colours on your first order and you you have a fairly big order, then do think about joining because it's only $169 to join. And if that's like smaller than your order anyway, you can get all the bits and pieces that you want to get on the order up to $235 worth of value. But you can also, at the moment, well, from the 3rd of May, you can also get um, $116.50 worth of new in-colour stuff. And I'll show you exactly what you get. You get all the new inks. You get all the new papers. You get some fantastic grid paper. And you also get, what was the last thing? I've got to remind myself what the last thing was. The last thing was, oh, that's right, the in color DSP uh, pack. So it's like a DSP pack with all of the in colors in it. So it's a six by six pack of paper. Um, so it's actually a pretty good deal. It's worth $116.50 and you get it completely free on top of your kit. There's no shipping to pay. It's just a great deal. So if anyone's interested in that or you've been thinking about it and you're thinking, oh, that sounds pretty amazing. I will be really honest with you and tell you, I've been doing this now nearly 16 years. Can you believe 16 years this September? So 15 and a half. Um, and the cool thing for me about this is that the value, yes, the starter kit is great value and getting a discount all the time is great value. But for me, the value is in the community and the friendships that I've made. Um, all of you guys, for starters, on a Friday night, but also... Um, also, I have friends all over the world because of what I have done with Stampin' Up. And if you had told me, you know, all those years ago that, that my life would look like this now and I would be doing this still <laughs> and still loving it as much as ever, I, would have, I wouldn't have believed you. I would have thought that was kind of crazy. Do you know up until this job, I think the longest I ever stayed in a job was four years ever in my whole career. And, you know, I've been doing this all these years now, so... I can't imagine ever doing anything else, to be honest. Okay, all right, let's put this to one side. All the wisteria set is nice. Oh, and yes, the waterfall. I've had a couple of customers mention the waterfall to me and say, you know, I'm thinking this might look rather nice here, like this. All right, now I'm just looking, deciding which. I'm thinking maybe the just saying hello is a good fit on this size. So let's pop that on a block and I'm going to do that in the early espresso ink as well. There we go. Bring that back in. No, I wouldn't know you if not for Stampin' Up. Exactly right. And that would be sad. Mind you, I wouldn't know how sad it is, but I am so, so glad that, that I've met all these wonderful people through Stampin' Up. It's changed my life, seriously. I mean, you might be thinking, I don't want my life changed. I'm happy with it as it is. And that's awesome. Go you. But I I know that it has changed my life for the better. All right. I am popping this here. All right. So it's kind of coming together the way I want it to. I'm going to pop these. This is a really simple, simple card. We're not doing any, we're not doing any crazy craziness here today. We're just doing simple, easy stuff. Hang on while I get myself some more dimensionals. Because the ones I just used up the last one on that sheet. Here we go. Got some more. There's always more dimensionals, right? That's one thing I never let myself run out of <laughs> is dimensionals. 
um, dimensionals, glue dots, and preferably not Tombow either. Those three adhesives that I think are the most, the best, the useful ones. Glue dots, I couldn't live without them. They stick all sorts of wonderful things on. Yeah, it is a bit different, isn't it, Donna? I had a couple of customers already, I'm, I'm actually purposely putting this a little bit to one side. Very, very simple card tonight, really. I mean, there's a bit of fussy cutting and a bit of that sort of stuff, but otherwise it's a super easy card. All right, let me put, I'm going to put one dimensional and I'm going to put it down here like this. And then I'm going to put some seal at the top because I actually want the card to be at the same level as this, but I don't want this end to sag. So I'm going to pop, prop that up with a dimensional over here. All right. Now it's definitely going to need some bling. Definitely, definitely. I'm deciding what colour bling to use. We've got a couple of options. Um, hmm, no, those ones are not right. Oh, something else to bear in mind is that our waves of the ocean uh, paper, rhinestones and uh, foil sheets, those are all going to be going away as of, oh, as of the same date, the 2nd of May. You won't be able to get those anymore either. Now, I'm pretty sure these are gone, but I'm going to use them because I can and because I love them so much and I am going to miss them. And these are the Gilded Gems cannot believe they're going but we've had them for a long time so I guess I should have expected it but move that slightly now I believe we still have the expressions in they're not gone are you serious Ellen they're still there I thought for sure they'd be gone because they're the best ever things really so I've got my, I've got a few pieces left in my um, Expressions in Ink ephemera pack and last time I checked this was still available. So these are fun because you can just grab them and throw them behind something and it makes all the difference having a little bit of gold. All right, let me pop some seal on the back of that. I could also use glue dots but I'm just going to use some seal. Let's pop those there like so. And this one's got three and I'm deciding do I want to use that one as well like maybe I'll move this little gem actually yeah I think I do want this one and now I'm going to put my gem there oh there we go oh now I well wouldn't you know it I just pulled the I pulled the adhesive off that's all right we have more of those so let's just use another one So pretty simple tonight, going very, very simple. Not even doing technique really tonight, unless you count the blends. I guess the blends colouring is technique, isn't it? In a way. There we go, like that. Like that. Okay, and then I have a piece of this uh, basic white. Yes, basic white cardstock. Let's just use either Tombow or Seal is perfect to attach your basic white to. Actually, I'm going to go going to go with the Tombow. Tombow's better. I probably doesn't matter now. I've started. Tombow's better for card bases, in my opinion, because you can wriggle it into position. You can kind of if you don't get it perfect in the first instance you've got a, a bit of time to move it into the right spot because it's liquid so it hasn't dried yet but I think this is going to be okay there we go all right so there we go one simple little card um very easy yes Megan you are the queen of putting up the codes well if anyone is ever looking at my videos and thinking how do I actually I'd love to purchase something but I don't know how to do it really really easy i will put the um in fact in the description below this um video um after it's posted it might already be there um is the links to my blog and there's a shop now button on my blog and also to my facebook page there's a shop now button there and you just hit that button go into the shop and you can look at the clearance rack you can look at all the retiring stuff you can see all the specials really really great 
You won't see the new colours and things like that in there, though, until the 3rd of May, all right? Unless you demonstrate, then you'll see them. You can see them right now. You can play with them right now. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you guys like that. Very, very easy. Yeah, the gold ephemera is just one of those little things, just a little touch of it, and it makes a big difference to a card. And like I said, they're still available. Um, and as Megan put Megan put up the number before for it back in the chat a little bit, it's also on special. Okay, it's only seven dollars thirty five for these packs, which is fantastic. So really great bargains to be had right now if you're interested in those. Some really great things. All right, let's have a little play. And remember, I said to you before we we're going to use um, something new. So let me just move these couple of things out of the way. In fact, I'm just going to clean up my stamps here quickly so I don't get myself confused with what's what and where's where. So I'm going to quickly use my scrub to clean those. Still my favourite tool is the stamp and scrub. Um, as when I say favourite tool for cleaning, I prefer it personally to the chamois, although I use the chamois in certain situations. I use the chamois if I'm going to, um, if I'm going to use my Stamparatus, the chamois better when you're trying to clean it on the plate. Um, and I tend to use, um, I, I would be more inclined to use the chamois for photopolymer stamps, but I still tend to use my scrub for both most of the time. So that's just a personal preference. You can use whatever you like, but that's my, that's my thinking. That's what I like to do. All right, so... Let's have a little look here. So we've played with something old and now we're going to play with something new. And I am going to show you the colours in the paper. We had a little play with these already and the other night we we looked at some fun little cards and things and I showed you how they all look against some of the other colours. We did that just the other night. Um, however... Just looking for this piece of paper. Here it is. This is the starter kit special. Okay, so you get $169, you get $235 worth of product of whatever you want. And in, you can include in color stuff, but don't include these things because you're going to get them for free anyway. And it's the ink pad collection, all five ink pads for the new colors, the cardstock collection of all the colors, which is what I've got right here, the in color grid paper, which is a bit of fun. And also the In Colour 6x6 designer series paper. So this is all $116 worth of stuff completely free on top of the other stuff that you get. All right. Fantastic deal. If you've been waiting for a good deal, it's your chance. All right. So here are your colours. Anyone got a favourite? I asked that question on my VIP page today. So if you're in Australia and you haven't joined my VIP page, please do that. You'll enjoy it very much we put up lots of things and we we're having a little discussion about which color people prefer i'm a bit surprised that not more embellishments have sold out aren't you ellen i think that's i think that's surprising yeah all right um just quickly trying to catch up on comments sorry it is a great special i know right <laughs> and if anyone was thinking about joining it's just a good time so i this is a good time to jump <laughs> if you're sitting on that fence I like all cut oasis too, and I think so far that seems to be the most, the one most people are voting for. Um, I'm rather liking this lime color, the parakeet party. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting because it's a color. It reminds me a little bit of lemon lime twist, which we had a few years ago, but it's a bit different to that. Different again, and it really does remind me of a splice. Does it remind anybody else of a pine lime splice? That's what I think of when I see this. The starry sky is a really dark blue, uh, different to Night of Navy. It's got a little bit more um, mauve in it than Navy. It's really nice though, really lovely together. And the Orc Orchid Oasis has more of a purple tone. So I know a few people before we actually got the ink, before we got the cardstock, people were saying that they, it was two blues or three blues. <laughs> because we have Tahitian Tide. This is super different. Reminds me a bit of the old Tempting Turquoise. Remember that? I like the green too, Solvega. It's nice, isn't it? And Starry Sky is really nice too, Denise. I agree. I like, I'm having trouble. I'm wavering. 
I've been going through a couple. Like Starry Sky was my first pick because it's a blue. And you know I love blue. But I also love turquoise. And this is on its way to turquoise. And I, yeah, I like them all. The one that, that is probably the, the number five for me is the Sweet Sorbet. Probably only because it's quite similar to uh, Poppy Parade for me. And I feel like it's slightly different but not so different that I'm going to use it a lot. Um, whereas the others are all really different to other colours, if that makes sense. They do look really nice. Do you have them yet, Nairi? I know. I know, Megan, I'm the same. I can think, oh, I like that one. No, but I like that one. No, I like, I like the way these four colours look together. Okay, these four. So you've got your, your green and then you've got your turquoisey blue, your purpley colour and your dark blue. Those four together I think just look stunning. Really, really beautiful. The red is the ring in. In my mind, it still looks good with them, but those ones just work really lovely tonally. So I know. And see, you just said, Amanda, sweet sorbet and Tahitian type. Don't they look nice together? You know, just, just fantastic. So here's my theory. I think a good in-colour set is when you have five different colours that all look good together. If you put any three colours out of the set together, they're going to look good. And this one fit. This one definitely uh, fits that criteria. That's my idea of a good in colour set. You don't love the sorbet? I like it. I just, I, I wasn't. I'm not as sure that we needed that one. Does that make sense? Whereas the others, I'd say yes, we needed them. But this one, ah, uh, see, I like the parakeet gen. I'm just going to have to convince you. Oh, there's a challenge for me. <laughs> yeah, they do a bit look like rosellas, don't they? I agree. Crimson rosellas. The other night, or the other last month, we were at, um, or earlier this month, I was at a scrapbooking class up at the Hunter Valley. Uh, Kay would know. And we, there were a whole bunch of king parrots in the trees, and they were so beautiful. I just love, love, love. I could look at, I could look. At parrots all day so this is where you get to see how different these two colors are these three colors are there is no nothing similar between these three colors at all okay starry sky is completely different to orchid oasis is completely different to tahitian tide so for the people who said three blues they're all too close together they're super different okay yes i know with the alcohol technique on vellum that would be lovely that's what well, that's a gorgeous idea i haven't thought to do it and i now will <laughs> it's cheaper to buy five exactly or if you're looking at joining you're going to get the five with your kit so oh my gosh that's a really i can't stop talking about that deal because i'm still i'm super pumped about it i just think it's such a good one for anyone who's out there thinking hmm, okay all right so let me move these out of the way and i'm going to use I'm not going to use um, those colours for my card. I'm going to use a different product instead. I thought we would have a little play. I've already cut these out just in the interest of time with um, some new paper called Hues of Happiness. Ah, oh, hey, Sean. How are you going? Nice to see you. Uh, I know time changes really confuse me as well. Time zones, I am just, I really, really am bad at working out time zones. The other day um, I was invited to a, a leaders meeting and I put it in my diary and I was all excited about the meeting and everything and I logged on to the Zoom call just in time to hear them say goodbye <laughs> and and the guy that was leading it said, oh, hi, Linda, you know, like, that's okay, I see you got the time zone wrong. Like, oh, yeah, I, I logged on at the finish time instead of the start time. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I know. I love the Hues of Happiness D DSP too and I'm going to show it to you. And this, this paper is the one that is featured on the cover, okay? Now, last year the Expressions of in Ink paper was um, featured on the cover, and I don't know if that is why, because those products were featured on the cover, is that is why it went on to back order. But if that's true, then there's a good chance this could do the same thing because you've got your DSP there, you've got some dyes, you got some stamps all from this same bundle and it's called Hues of Happiness, okay? The stamp set it's called, itself is called Happiness Abounds, this one, and it's really nice. You've got some line drawings and then you've got some really lovely greetings. I'm going to use that briefly tonight. But the paper, oh, my goodness, guys, the paper is to die for. Let me get rid of the tasteful, tasteful labels. And this is the 
is called the Blossoming Blossoming Happiness Dies, and they match the paper and they match the stamp set. Okay. Now, if you're buying the bundle, you'll get the stamps and the dies, but the um, but they match these as well. And I love it when DSP matches um, a um, set of dies. Now, some of you may have seen I posted a card last night on my business page and also on Instagram that had um, some of the flowers in a teacup. Did you guys see that one? I know some people commented on it. Um, and I used this paper. Apart from the teacup, which comes from a different set, and we'll look at that one another time, these are the dies that come with this. Um, really, really cool. So you've got a big, big flower, and you can see, like, you can line these up. They're actually pretty easy to line up to, which I like. Okay, there's this one cuts out that flower. Okay, so you could stamp them and it will cut out the stamp, but you can just use the, the dies, which is makes them really, really useful. Um, then I've got this one here. Where is this one? Okay, so this one lines up with that one. And then we've got this one here. That one lines up with that one. So you can you can really have a bit of fun with these and cut out a whole bunch of different flowers. And like I said, in the interest of time, I've already done that just so that you guys can have a little bit think about it. But isn't that cute that you can cut these out? Makes it super, super useful. And it's not only this sheet that it cuts out. There's a couple of different colorways, which I really like. Put these all back in. So you, it cuts out these ones, but it also cuts out, where are they? These ones, the pinks, the purples, and the, the like, aqua kind of color so it cuts out these ones too right so you've got two sheets these two this one and that one I just noticed I've got a blob of ink down here isn't that lovely never mind I'll just put my finger over that um, but you can cut all these out so I think that's very very cool yes the teacup card you guys saw it cool all right so also on the back you've got some other fantastic designs I mean look at these they look like paintwork on canvas how nice are these you've got your rainbow look there this is the one they've used on the cover of the catalog they use this blue and green together it's really really pretty isn't it nice you've got dark up here and the yellows down the bottom so so nice we've got some little flowers there we've got like a field of big big bunches of flowers there and then this one as well which has got the the blues and purples again Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, yes, and the leaves match too. I didn't didn't think to mention that. Thank you for saying so, Michelle. That's true. Yeah, that's that's what I think too, Donna, because it's on the cover, and last year our cover paper went out of stock really fast. So if you guys really like this, my suggestion is to get in early <laughs> on the 3rd and get it ordered in case they run out. I'm not saying they're going to, but just in case. All right, so I've got a piece of um, DSP, sorry, not DSP, just a piece of white cardstock here. And you might see, it looks like I've pulled it out of a notepad because we've got like little spiral binding here on the side. Can you see that? I'll just hold it a bit closer so you can see it. And in fact, I like to kind of flick it a little bit with my finger so it's a little bit uneven, looking like it's been ripped out of a book. That's actually this die. So this die here does that spiral binding look okay and you'll notice on one side it's got like a line okay a cut line a blade and on the other side you just got the circles and so you put the cut line the the long straight line towards the edge of the paper and that's going to cut the edge and then you've got the circles and all the little lines so that's how you make the spiral edge isn't that cute love 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 it i think it's going to be very very useful nice for scrapbooking too for those of you who like to scrapbook so that's really cool and then i'm just going to do something super simple I'm going to bring in a piece of Pool Party. Pool Party is one of my go-to colours. I know quite a lot of people like it, but for me I just find it such a useful colour. And I'm going to be putting this onto here. So I'm going to arrange these so they're in the corner. I'm deciding which way I'd like them to go. So I want this little guy here and this one. And then maybe this one just sitting at the top. Yeah, I think so, like that. All right, so let's go ahead and glue these on. I mean, this is super, super simple. So I went ahead and I cut these just to make life a little bit fast and things move a little bit faster tonight. 
And then I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put dimensionals under this one, I think. Yes, I am. Lift that up. And I'm only going to put a couple because I want to be able to slide my other flower underneath. So I'm only going to put a couple on there. And let's pop that over the edge. And then this one can slide in underneath. So I'll put some glue under that. these in underneath so it kind of goes over the edge of the paper all right and then of course we need to stamp ourselves we need to stamp ourselves a greeting I think maybe this one sending thanks many thanks for all you do or wishing you all the happiness that I, you can imagine which one which one shall we have the sending thanks for all you do or wishing you all the happiness you can imagine fancy looking dies oh they cut out like a background um it's really nice actually so like let me see if it fits it should fit through my mini yes it will all right let me just do it for you i'm assuming you're talking about these ones is that the ones you mean uh who answered first Oh, Jenny, you're head heading off. In that case, if you're not going to stick around to watch, I will do Elizabeth. Elizabeth said happiness. So let me just cut this so it will fit through my machine. And I'll just, I mean, I'll just show you how it works. It's actually, it's super easy and it creates a really nice little, a really nice little background. Give me a second. I've just put all my paper and catalog and things, all of it, on top of the um, on top of the plates <laughs> for my for my mini. I think. Okay, guys, where'd I put them? Who knows? Goodness me. We'll have to bring the big one in, won't we? They're really nice, actually. Um, I saw a couple of really nice cards that use them, and I thought to myself, I must give them a go, but I haven't yet, so this will be my first time to use them. <sighs> Top left. Top left says Christine. No, I can't see them. Can't see them. Never mind. Let's Let's run it through really quickly we'll run it through the big one because that's just going to be quicker and easier in this case blame the cat i can't he's not, he's locked out i made sure he can't get in so he can't give me a hard time <laughs> otherwise i would blame the cat i've done that before the second that I use this, I'm going to find the plates for the other one. You know that, right? So this is how it kind of, so it kind of creates a, like a, what would you say? Here's our, here's our bits and pieces here. I'm just going to run this over. You can use um, the, the like the pad that comes with the dye brush tip, but if you can't find it, your foam mat will do the job just as well. So it's kind of like you could put something underneath it to, and not all the pieces push out. Like some are meant to stay in. I think I've pushed out all the ones that are meant to come out. Yep, the others are not meant to. And so you would put that, you know, on behind something so it'd be a nice background so you could add some shimmer paper behind it or or something like that um that would work does that make sense does that answer the question yeah i would pop it up a little exactly and it looks like a trellis it's very pretty so i'm going to have a bit i'm going to do a bit of experimenting with that die and see what i can come up with because i think i'd like to put something sparkly underneath it so it shines through I hope that answers the question. 
It is pretty, I know, right? I oh, know. <laughs> if you could see this room, you guys have no clue. Um, like I said, my dad and my stepmom are staying for a couple of days and they had to sleep in the spare room, of course, because that's what spare rooms are for, right? So guess where all the stuff from the spare room ended up? <laughs> guess where it is? So that's why I'm very happy that you can't see my whole room at the moment because it looks really bad. All right. We said happiness, didn't we? Wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. All right. Which is a nice stamp. Yeah, it is like a peekaboo design. Exactly right. <laughs> yes, I know, Ellen, you can. But that's okay. That's, you know, the spare room is serving the purpose it's meant to serve. I'm thinking maybe flirty flamingo. Hmm, I don't know. Flirty flamingo. Let me let me do a test and see how it looks. No, you know what? I, that's not the colour I want. It is this colour, but that's not what I want to go with. I think maybe a, a darker pink. What do you guys think? You've used the sentiment a few times? I like the sentiments in here. I think they're really nice. All right, let me pop down. Yeah, that's better. So I'm just going to pop that right here. There we go. That's nice. So it's a very simple little card. We're not going to any great trouble. I feel like it needs something. I feel like it needs a ribbon or some bling. It's not quite complete in my mind. What do you guys think? I like the font too. Yeah, Rich Razzleberry might have worked because this has kind of got the pinky purpley look to it. Like that. A little bit of sponging would look nice like with the blending brushes, nice coming out from behind the flowers, but I haven't really allowed for that. Maybe. I mean, we've got some good old seam binding ribbon. That's always good. A little bit of a, a bow down the bottom here somewhere or even here. No, maybe not. I ended up using Melon Mambo because that's one of the colours that's featured in the flowers here. It's one of the colours in this paper. And that's, you know, that's the colour. Melon Mambo is a colour I don't use all that often. When I do, I like it, but I don't use it much. I'm just going to do a little bow. Quite a small one. I don't want it to overwhelm this card. And then we'll get our ribbon scissors which we keep just for ribbons, never use with paper, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> you guys all know that, right? You have to separate your scissors so you only use them for paper or you only use them for ribbon. Otherwise they get blunt and yucky. We don't want that. We don't want blunt, yucky scissors. That's not the technical term, but I'm going with it. So now I'm deciding where to put my ribbon. Do I put it here in the corner? Do I put it here between these two little flowers? No, but then I'm going to cover up my stem. And I don't want it top, or I could even put it above, I could put it above my, um, like underneath my sentiment too, if I wanted to. That looks quite pretty. I could colour the ribbon, the colour, you know, make it yellow or a light pink. Spritzing would be nice. Yeah, we could do that. But don't you see how nice these flowers look just cut straight with the dies, straight from the DSP. So you're, it's very easy to create with, super easy. Melamaba seems to appear a lot in colour combos. Yeah, it does. It does appear in more DSPs and things. You know what? I think some leaves would have been good. I haven't planned for leaves, but I may add some leaves after I finish this video. <laughs> I bet she did get a lecture. You don't do that. There's, um, for anyone who remembers, many years ago, there used to be um, a show. I used to love it. It was on every Saturday night and it was called The Late Show. And they did a little skit about the good scissors, you know, 
because he was talking about how you know his mother used to talk about the good scissors and the good scissors you could she could hear them being misused from any room in the house <laughs> and he had this whole this whole comedy skit about you know things people do but not with the good scissors and it was hilarious and i i loved that show that was such a cool show I used to watch it every saturday night with there was a group of a group of us that would get together and watch it every Saturday night. I'm actually thinking I like it. They do. I know you. The card wouldn't be nearly as nice without the flowers. It wouldn't be much at all, would it? So I'm just going to add that up there. And we're going to just go really simple. But I am thinking. Mm, I'm still thinking about adding some bling. You know. You know what? Maybe I'll use some of my waves bling because this stuff's only got a couple of days left and then it is gone, gone, gone. So if I was to, because we've got pool party in the background here, we could get away with some of these like little aqua. Little aqua ones. There we go. Just like that. There we go. What do you think? Do we call that done? I think we call it done now. <laughs> all right guys so we managed to cut to make ourselves two pretty simple little cards tonight i really hope you like them um and i'm sorry i'm not sticking around for a long time tonight here are the two cards totally different completely different they both have flowers but one yeah there's that's where the similarity ends <laughs> there's nothing else like for these ones and i'm going to go and have my dinner and i'm going to go spend some time with my dad um, and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I'll be back on Sunday night. Um, and if I can remember to buy myself some bleach at the grocery store, Cherie, I will be doing some bleaching because I cannot wait. I have an idea of something I want to do with it for a card and we can do it live. So it'll be a nice technique that we can do together on a Sunday night. I will. Thank you so much. You guys have a great weekend and I will see you soon. Bye, everyone.